We live in a society where powerful people use their money and their status to create rules that crush the lowest of us. We live in a society that espouses the prosperity religion against the true religion, which is of the people. If the moneyed powerful are the heroes, then somebody has to be the villains. Welcome to the Villains Guild. Hey y'all, my name is Thomas Bishop. I'm known as the villain. And I want to talk to you about a clothing company that I actually just started. It's called Melanated Excellence. Now, Melanated Excellence was started with the idea of showing how much Black love and Black achievement mean in this, in this country. Um, when I came up with the idea for Melanated Excellence, it was simply a matter of showing Black love 24-7, 365. If you go to melexcellence.com, that is M-E-L- E-X-C-E-L-L-E-N-C-E dot -E -E com. You will find T-shirts and mugs that celebrate Black love and Black achievement. And just in time for June, which is Pride Month, we have our Melanated, Queer, and Fierce T-shirts. Um, make sure that you guys wear one and rock one while you guys are at Pride to show that you're not only queer, but you are melanated. My name is Thomas Bishop. I stand by everything that I'm saying here. If you believe in Black love and you believe that Blackness is beautiful 24-7, 365, you need to get your hands on some gear from Melanated Excellence. That is www.melexcellence.com. M-E-L-E-X-C-E-L-L-E-N-C-E.com. Thank you. episode of the villains view was brought to you in part by protein and steroids protein and steroids because we all can't look like jason momoa now can we welcome to another thrilling episode of the villains view here on hot101.net and streaming exclusively on ghost claw entertainment my name is thomas bishop i am known as the villain and i am joined by my regular two co-hosts to my immediate left it's Mr. Why So Serious himself, Mr. Joker. Joker, say hello to the people, please. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As I always like to state, I'm tired of watching the minority being killed by police on a frequent basis, ACAB. Um, it's going to be a different show than normal, ladies and gentlemen. We got North. It's the North, it's the North show. And also, you know, villainsguildstore.com. Get your Villains Guild merch. Yes, Joker has it, now cut, Joker has now cut off the sleeves on his on his. No, 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 no! This is the tank top. Oh, I'm sorry. He's wearing the tank top. I thought he cut the sleeves. I still got the shirt in my back. Ladies and gentlemen, he was just talking about not being very big, and that's why I was like, "Bruh, you cut off the sleeves on the shirt. And you're not very big." Oh, he's now holding up the uh, the original T-shirt. To my bottom right is the cuddly teddy bear. The um, what do we call him? The Barry White, if we put him under a uh, X-ray machine, this that is known as General Gambit, aka Nate. Say hello to the people, please. Wow, well, hello everyone. How is everyone tonight? I would give my life to have Tiger Bomb's arms and Nate's voice. I just, I that's how the fuck, that's how I feel about life. Excuse my French. And we are joined, ladies and gentlemen, by three very special gentlemen. I will start with the gentleman uh, to the middle left. He is G Villains Guild affiliate. He is also probably one of the funniest swole up men that is walking around on any social media application. We we all call him uh, Robert, but you guys will know him better as Tiger Bomb. Tiger, say hello to the doing? people, please. How y'all doing tonight? I'm a meat popsicle, and I like to boop nootsies on the snootsies. That's why I'm here. Oh, yeah. Y'all will understand that. By the end of the show, y'all will understand that. 
Below him is a gentleman I have never met before, but now I'm glad I did because he too is about 10% body fat and 100% uh, ass kicker. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and call him by the name that he has, even though he doesn't look like it. He looks like a very nice guy and he also has a New York accent. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to one Mr. A Savage. Mr. Savage, say hello to the people, please. Hello, people. What's See? up? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> listen, I, listen, I... We got it already. How you doing? I, I love New York accents because of how you doing. I love that. I, I'm sorry I got family up in New Jersey. I love that. And finally, this attractive man. <laughs> I think he's been on this show before, hasn't he? Yes, he has. The second yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, everybody think about what Nino Brown said to... uh to uh he's just gonna face? stare at us after he stabbed We're him in the hand music. he said i never liked you anyway pretty pretty mf and <laughs> with that note let me introduce you again to dave the viking aka what would happen if jason momoa and roman reigns were both working at the ups store and did tiktoks dave say hello to the people please How's it going? I, I don't even know how to follow that intro. That was fucking hilarious. <laughs> I know. I, sometimes I, the intro is better than, than, than anything we could have said. Listen, <laughs> right? Like, I, that was amazing. Now I want Dave's voice. I want Dave and Nate's voice. I know pro people won't hear me. I'll sound like Dark Side, but it would be perfectly okay because I'll have Tiger Bomb's arms. I'm just. See, I was thinking about this the <laughs> other day because just the way Gambit's voice is and like mine, when there's like a deep voice filter. Mine just crackles. Like, I feel like his open up some black hole somewhere. Oh, uh, uh, if, if, <laughs> they're if, using if, it to detect planets by the gravitational waves it creates. Exactly. Right. If, if, and that's why when, when Nate does videos, I always check and make sure he doesn't have that filter on because if he opens his mouth with that deep voice filter and uh, what is it? What's, what was the. Uh, oh, it distorts zoom, like zoom hell. From, uh, I can't Ghostbusters do it. pop out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're on a flight. He starts speaking and be like, we're going straight to hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what... Are you a god? If I do a voice filter, it goes, to, it goes to the, the jokester one so that I can. It, it doesn't distort like crazy. Hey, Thomas, you know, Thomas, the few videos that you've done with the desert, with one of those voice modifiers is some of the funniest things I've ever I, heard, listen, man. Because because it is not you, you. It's your language and the way you speak, but it is not your voice, and it is funnier than it, you. It's only because That's, TikTok hates me. So when I say stuff in my regular voice, they go, oh, community guidelines violation. So if I put a funny voice on it, you know, the moderators will sit there and go, hey, it's really a razzing and bully, but damn, that guy's funny. <laughs> You know, speaking so, of which, like with the TikTok censorship, I got a random ass question because uh, the other dude in Chris Insanity brought this up. Why am I the only motherfucker that seems to be able to get away with saying the real word for Nazi? Um, we can say Nazi here. We can say okay, Nazi. Well, I can say it all day on TikTok. They might flag my shit, but then the second I appeal it, within 15 minutes, it's back up. It's because of the Jason Momoa look. Yeah, they're calling like, eyes. Man. Listen, Dave, we gotta we gotta stop this. All right, all right, enough, man. Enough. I get it. You don't want to admit it, but <laughs> damn it, enough, man. Come on, this is radio. Nobody, the only people that are seeing you are in the, the the box, and Erica's probably fainted. She's the only woman in there for right now. But we gotta stop. Hi, this, man. Okay, Erica. enough. You, <laughs> Jason Momoa, and Roman Reigns. So damn it, from now on, your name is Jason Reigns. Stop. Jason no, Reigns. Jason Reigns. Jason Reigns the Viking. Walking, yeah, he's walking around here with all this smoldering hot sensu sensuality and trying to play it off like you know, I'm just like yo. Okay. Not, not, to to bring, not, not, not to bring that that submarine back into it again with the billionaires that imploded, but you know, women are looking at Dave the Viking and they've imploded from the inside out. Thank man. you. He out here, he out here making <laughs> us, he's out here doing this <laughs> thing in videos. Um, Tell them know, how they're supposed to breathe with no air. Uh, <laughs> you know, since that since that whole sub thing, I haven't been able to get one of those tubes of meat from Walmart. Listen, I went, I went to Five Guys. They got a new submarine uh, seafood sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I have jokes I hold back from TikTok. I have jokes I cannot tell on TikTok. You're trying so hard not to cut, but you are not helping that. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> I almost choked. Yo, did you see Mr. Beast up. was supposed to be on that song? Oh. Yeah. That would have been great, too. Who was, who was supposed to be on there? Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. Ooh. Oh, dude. He was supposed to be on it, but he was like, yeah, so, he was like, no, I'm scared. Look. I'm not doing it, whatever. And Look, uh, I, 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 I wanted, I wanted, so, I want so bad, like in my mind, after it happened, I kept wishing so bad that, you know, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, the people who own the company I work for in FedEx, you know, the UPS, uh, you know, every one of these global conglomerates, they, they all just decided to take like a voyage of like multiples of them. Thank and they you. all just went. I had like Dude. five or six other billionaires. Like I wanted at least what the, the living Coke brother to go in there. Well, I, I was going to say Coke there. brothers. Take the dead one with as him. It, so as he win. drinks Pepsi. As he drinks Pepsi. As he you drinks see Pepsi. That? Yes. Yo, Elon Musk <laughs> and, and Mark Zuckerberg are going to have a cage fight. <laughs> yes. Like, yes. I heard about like, that. I, know I, I heard about that. that. They are yeah. really yeah, going to I do want a hell of for charity. I will I buy that paper deal, baby. If I had one. So, Melted Two Face. We'll find a way to crowdfund that one. But, like, here's what I want to know. Like, okay. There's 20 years gap between the two of them, right? Yes. Right. Yes. Like, how in the fuck is Elon Musk going to recover his ego when he gets beat by a human Q-tip? Language. I, 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 here's the thing. I don't think I most cuss. I don't think. I, yeah, well, you did. Zuck, yeah, you did. Zuckerberg, <laughs> Zuckerberg does <laughs> MMA, I believe. I, but see, that's see, the thing. That's I don't, why it's, I don't just, think it's he's going like to lose. breathing. We just can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Musk is going to lose because I think, because Musk, you got to remember, Musk is a child of, of apartheid. They have been beating up people for a very long time. His father, his father, his father owns a mine. His father owns like a diamond or an emerald mine. They have been beating people for a very long time. And I'm, I get it, like, like, Elon Musk. I'm pretty sure it's Elon Musk is like, what happens if you put marshmallow fluff and Crisco together? Yeah. Dude, right? <laughs> me, hold on. Me, me, and then microwave it for 20 me, minutes. Yeah. Meanwhile, <laughs> oh. Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg kind of looks like if AI actually said, you know what, enough of us writing your books for you, we're just going to take over a body. Zuckerberg's like, all Zuckerberg's all this. He's a serial killer behind the scenes, but he's oh, all he really this. Is. I'm telling you, Zuckerberg is the non-cool version of free guy. Like he is the NPC right. that could. I don't know. I heard he, he does MMA on the side. Oh, oh no, he does. He definitely oh. does. But I'm telling you, oh. like he has his if, personality doesn't exist. If he comes no, out with like Bolo, he... if he comes out like Bolo in those old uh, Jean Claude Van Damme movies, I'm going to be so mad. If he comes out, like his, goes, you want like his, but yeah, he comes out his pecs are bouncing, like <laughs> yeah, like he's like no, 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 it, yeah, we're Bolo, thinking he's a damn man. That guy's a legend. This is this is the world stage when when he comes out in his, I don't know what it's gonna look like to us. Ugh. Like it's gonna look like a white dude trying to dance. That's terrible. But I don't like know in his head, I think when he comes in out, his head, glow. <laughs> no, but in, no. that's what I'm saying. You, you, you Here's how it's gonna happen. I was getting at Savage. I was gonna say in his head, he's got to glow. He's going in fucking oh. Enter the Dragon style. Oh, oh. 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 Leroy Jenkins. Hold on, I could I could see him doing you the, the power. Power. Leroy. Yeah, Bruce <laughs> Leroy from the Last Dragon. <laughs> Musk is drowning him, going Leroy. He's gonna drown him again. Who's the master? And then drown him one more time and goes, I am. And he starts glowing. You are the exactly. dragon. See, we're never going to make it to that point. They're going to live stream it on it's Twitter so and it's just going to crash and we'll never know. <laughs> exactly. Twitter looks great. Musk, Musk is not letting it, letting him get beat up on Twitter. Like, uh, cut the feed. Cut the feed. Okay. <laughs> we, have, we have totally veered <laughs> off where we were going with this show just for this fun excitement. Just, it was just, fantastic. Okay. So we had a topic. <laughs> we had a topic. Blame Loki. Stop, group Blame Loki. All right. So you guys we have, brought, have heathens on the show. That's <laughs> on you. <laughs> we we have brought we have brought all we brought these four very uh, I can't say attractive because it makes me sound bad feel bad about myself. We brought these four gen these three gentlemen on the show this evening to talk about something that a lot of people know it's happening, but we don't realize it's happening as much as it is, and that is. The Nazis or Nazis have taken over uh, everything, including Norse paganism. And we just so happen to have not one, not two, not three, but four practitioners of said religion. 
So, Joker, hey. I'm going to start with you, since you know the most. What is Norris Pagan? You know Deep enough. Three. Hey, Deep hey, three. hey, you're the get. Hey. I'm the newest of all of these guys. Yes, but you're also a co-host on the show. You can't just go, oh, what the <laughs> No, you got to, come on, you got to softballs. That's why you brought the back up, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, Joker. what are you doing? Like, you, it's Joker, our, we've talked you know many saying? times. Hey. You got this, buddy. Yes, you got it. So, Joker. You got a pep talk from Tiger. Awesome. <laughs> explain to me, <laughs> explain to me, what is it that the Nazis are doing to the Norse pagan belief system? It's what they bang uh, over. Claiming that it's, one, claiming that it's whites only, using our symbolage in, 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 incorrectly. And, oh. and honestly, I'm going to let Tiger and Savage go in a little bit more detail about that because they deal with it constantly. Yes. So, so that that thank you for that setup, Joker. I appreciate that. So I'll start with you, Tiger. Um, this has been a problem that's been ongoing, correct? Yes. Okay. It it began um slightly in prison systems, but also uh you gotta understand it's a recreation mo movement. You gotta bring um, back World War II, bro. Prison, so well, you, you said we're prison, gonna get that. Else? I was going to say prison, but a lot of a lot of the Ossetru, um, or I wouldn't put it specifically on a specific portion. Oh, um, you, you had uh, you had you had the the Nazis over there trying to control the population. They wanted to take it back to what they called the Volkish or Folkish movement, mm -hmm. and um, uh, as a way to tap into the many demographics out in in Germany at the time, um, and man it went sideways <laughs> how do i put this uh they wanted to get everyone to believe that they were part of a special uh race of humans the aryans in order to justify taking back land that was never theirs or that they thought historically they could twist or bend the facts to uh justify their invasions um <sighs> is it is it just basically that things bad bad things come out of prison and old nazi germany is that is well, that just ended, me or is it what ended up happening so with, with nazi germany you had you know you had a five foot nine five foot ten guy with blonde, with brown eyes and brown hair trying to convince a blonde haired blue eyed nation that they were the superior race he so also had one to, testicle i i will never forget that hitler only had one testicle i don't right, care and he was a meth said, addict yeah he so, was, you know and he was so a he, meth addict yeah, he was, he, he, was injected, he was injected with a bunch of drugs every day by his doctor. But and they found out he married a Jew. They tried yeah. to look for something of heritage well, and conquerors. So they, they jumped in on the so-called Viking culture. And they went yes. back to that and they tried to trace the roots of the Aryans to the Viking culture. And hmm. the one thing about Vikings is that they had blonde hair, but it wasn't all that they had blonde hair. They would dye their hair with a certain kind of soap because it oh. was desired. It was a desired trait for them to stand out on the battlefield and recognize each other. Okay, so, so when they were coming at each other, you could see these big blonde, bushy beards, and it was kind of like a uniform for them. Okay, so the misconception, ladies and gentlemen, we just knocked off misconception number one. The biggest the misconception is. is the biggest misconception that the Vikings were strictly Scandinavian. There was just a genetic test that was done. A DNA test that was done that had they did a uh, hundred graves they they took from the the Swedish ship Kronos as a as a case study and they did all this DNA sequencing and they found genetic diversity. Um, Gordman, oh man, I forgot his full name. Gordmanson was the guy's last name that did the study. Had it to study, and they found genetic markers from Mediterranean, from as far uh, as Afghanistan, uh, Ireland, Scotland, England. All over, I mean, these guys are traveling all over the place and they're taking on slaves, which they call thralls. Mm -hmm. And what do you think? They're not, they're not, they're not, you know, tapping anything out. I, I was just about to say that if, if I was a conquering army, cause you got to think about it, Genghis Khan and Attila the Hun, they took, they killed the men, but they took characters and it's not like they just let them walk around here. Like I've never had one of those. So of course, the Vikings is going to be the sort of people that, okay, we captured you, we killed your husband, but come get this Viking, you know, come get this Viking jank. So, and, and to Europeans, <laughs> not exactly. 
So, like, they had a thing called Logger Dogger, right? Uh-huh. And that means bath day in Old Norse. So, uh, pool day. So, it was a day of bathing. And you're in Middle of Evil Europe. Like, taking a bath once a week was, like, super hygienic. Like, they mm-hmm. were fly guys. Like, they brushed their hair. You know, nobody else did that. That wasn't part of, the like, any European culture at that time. Brush so their were, teeth. They were getting it thrown at them like there was no tomorrow. Of course, because they smell like hot. They smell like hot soap and and manly beard. So of course, it's not like. And they look like Dave the Viking. So like you oh, know. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> could you could so, you imagine a Viking walking around here looking like Dave the Viking and then talking about no, thank you. I I don't want to have any of that African woman. No, I'm I'm good. It's, <laughs> No, the, keep, the way I explain it to a lot of people. From me. Like, get the, come on, man. I know they did. They had to. People, the, why? The way they, I like to explain it to, to modern folk, um, uh, it, and a lot of them have watched The Mandalorian. I, I explain it's a lot yeah. like that. They, they absorb people in that are worth a damn, and they take care of those that are not. Ah. Um, they have younglings. At, and let's address the, the, the thrall thing uh, slaves, thralls. I know yeah. it's a hot button topic. Yeah. Um, they were they were op, they they were given the ability to leave to be free or to to come into the, the, the culture mm-hmm. right. to the tribe. Yes. Um, and we've got uh, a lot of this big problem that we're talking about is they want to be these uh, blonde hair blue people. Uh, they like to. You have to understand that. When they talk about the, the the tribes, the Germanic tribes, they they the automatic the people automatically think German, um, and that's not the case. That's just a designation they were given. Right. Okay. And they went all the way all over the place from France, Norway, Scandinavia. I mean, they, they went is everywhere. named after them. It's the Normans yes. for the Norse for the Norsemen. Hmm. That's why it's called. Exactly. The so that's a great point. And the thing, uh, so I just had this long ass conversation like on different apps and direct messages with somebody a while back, like historian and shit anyway. Um, and, you know, it got kind of heated, but in the end there was an eye to eye conversation because like when you have something like, you know, speaking on the whole diversity thing, they had a dude named Jarlskin, Jarman Jarlskin. This is the black Viking, right? And his name yeah. is basically Hellskin. Yeah. And he had two sons and they even led raids and shit. But point being, he was named the Black Viking because he had dark skin and uh, Mongolian facial features, right? Okay. You can get into whatever that means, but that's like, what, high cheekbones and, like, wide nose? Yep. So yeah. how many fucking cultures is that with darker skin? You're all you know right. what I mean? So that's, that goes forever. So but what he was like, talking about was, like, why did they call him, like, the Black Viking or whatever? And I was like, you know, that was just his differentiation, even though they had half day in the black, and that was just for his hair. But mm-hmm. the point we really came to was in ancient Viking culture, they didn't have a word that designated only white or non-white because mm-hmm. that wasn't a thing they thought about. Here's, here's the other thing, like, wow. here's the other thing that people like to, you know, go against, especially like the Nazi all right. They like to, you know, go against like, you know, LBG2, LBGTQ plus community. Mm-hmm. But when you speak Old Norse, you have three genders in the language. So you have a feminine, you have a masculine, and you have a gender neutral. So yep. like in Spanish, you have like, you know, like you're a Latina or a Latino. Then there would yep. be like a Latini, and that's a gender neutral. Okay, so yes. we really, like, I hope this show doesn't get bombed because, okay, so three misconceptions have just been knocked off in the past, I don't know, 20 minutes. Number one, that Norse people or Norse pagans or Vikings were blonde haired, blue eyed, Scandinavian. But here's, here's the biggest thing the native people to the Scandinavian the region are the Sami. And the Sami look like Mad love. They, they're that they're the same, they're from the same genetic original database as American Native Americans, as American First People. Yep. Before the Barren Lands uh, Bridge happened during that ice age. When that migration came across the land bridge, that was like one area. It was an it was like Asian, that Mongolian looking yeah. area. And half half the tribes went across the bridge and came to North America. And the other half of the tribes became like the Sami. And they they they're, they have, I don't want to say they have that look, but they have more of a, a that that Russian, that that Russian Siberian look. 
Yes, the, it looks the, more almost the, uh, almost similar Ivan the to terrible like the Eskimo guys. culture. Yeah, so we and I call them white, people. light, light skin native. Light skin native is right. wow is a good way of looking at so, it. So okay, so here's 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 where we bring it's this actually in the to... saga that they intermarried with them. Uh, yeah, that absolutely. they had a tax. But here, okay, so here's where we bring it back into this. Why do you think so many alt right Nazi white you know white supremacist sympathizers? Why do you think they have this all wrong? What is it? What is the biggest propaganda is it that they can? I mean, because obviously the knowledge is out there. Obviously, it is out there. Tiger, covered that, the best. Wrong? Tiger that? covered that the best when he was talking about the whole like Hyborian age thing or Hyperborean age thing and mm -hmm. the Atlantean Hyperborean. shit. Like, it's a bunch of loose bullshit connections that don't make any sense if you read cognitively. And it's because of that adherence. You got to the understand. They're just like, Rang. yeah. So, but. Right. They, Indiana Jones was right. They, okay. they did that and a lot more wacky stuff, trying to build this propaganda narrative. Um, and and what's pro the biggest problem is there's this group think going on in modern day. This is their tribe, uh, and they don't they don't want to go against that, and they're they're so invested in it that that they'll they'll like when I when I when I clap back at them and start calling them you know like fish boy or something because. You know, they think Vikings were from Atlantis because of uh, a thought experiment from uh, the Greek philosopher Tacitus, or not Tacitus. Um, help me out here, Savage. Um, I, uh, it's, I it's don't a know about that. I thought that was I thought that was constructed by uh, Heinrich by Himmler. I thought the whole uh, the whole he he took that thought experiment that um, um you're talking about the thought experiment from uh, with when. Atlantis was written down. That is, um, yes, uh, from the Greeks. Oh, uh, I can't even remember who the Greek who it was. Um, you got a bunch of, it's gonna hit me in five minutes. So, you had a bunch of people that really honestly thought that Aquaman was a documentary, is what y'all are basically saying. Somewhat, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes, and then, oh, they, yeah. you know, and then they hired Dave the Viking to yeah. play the lead, you know, not me, I, exactly. I <laughs> so I know they had to watch uh, Wakanda forever and been mad as hell because they're like, we were the ones that lived under the water. And here comes this really, really good looking Spanish man with a really thick Spanish accent that says, my name is Namor. And they were like, no. God, I love that character. I hate I mean, this movie. It's woke. No. Exactly. But y'all thought y'all came from fish. What are we doing right now? Why are we here? If you, but, I mean, a lot of it has to do with, all right, so the runic language, right? Mm -hmm. Which is the, the the language of Norse uh, of the Norse people? The word pagan back then wasn't really a word. You know, mo it's a modern day construct. Okay. So they were just Same Norsemen. With they didn't call themselves Vikings. They didn't call themselves pagans. They called themselves Norsemen, right? They okay. called themselves a fucking threat. Right. That's and just for really the record, were. when I use Viking what? in my name, it's like saying Dave the asshole. No, it's like, it like saying Dave from the bank. <laughs> <laughs> Because the word Vikinger in Old Norse means from the bay. Yeah. So uh, it, it was a way of historians in the 18th century classifying these raids on these Catholic and Christian monasteries. So they needed to come up with a name that just categorized the one, these hitters. Like, you know, mm -hmm. I've had this conversation before. Like, the, 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 the Old Norse tribes were basically, like, just ancient organized crime. Like, they had, like, you know... They had like a Don and they went on these scores. And when they came back, they threw percentages at the Don and, and they tossed money around. You know what I mean? It was basically like, you know, it was just an organized crime crew. Well, wait a minute. So that means. We got a skit coming they now. Kill we somebody, got a skit coming now. Wait a minute. If they have somebody that killed somebody um, and they made them, they, because they said Luca Brazzi sleeps with the fishes. They 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 were dead serious. They were like, yeah. well, we all came from the fish, so we, you know, Luca brought sticks in the mouth, or 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 Sven now sleeps where he, you know, he sleeps in our regular hometown. Like, what is like? I'm 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 not confused. He I just went home. But like he just exactly, we killed him, but he went home. So, okay. so vacation. Thomas, yeah. The problem is you don't think stupid. You're right, and that's that was that was that was actually bringing that's my it. next question. That was bringing my next question. You so, want me to blow your mind, Thomas? Yeah, by all means, please. Okay, this is already do, do, shocking enough. You know, do you know how like the first documented was Linda's farm, that monastery, and how they like yeah. to attack mo monasteries? Mm -hmm. I seventy three. Yeah, 
Well, that's because, uh, A, they had a lot of wealth uh, there, but also uh, the priests were uh, could read, write, uh, often were multilingual, Uh-oh. and that's valuable when they, when they went and sold those guys or yeah. needed them back home uh, for other future um, uh, transactions because they were more merchant than anything. So everybody that demonizes... Also easy hit. Mm-hmm. Like you got this little you got this little castle like sticking out on the bay and they literally you know they just came out of the the, the vandell period so they were right. able to use ringing technology. a bell ringing a bell saying come get me it's a right. dinner bell, they were able to, like think about like think about like i don't know like how can i say this the best like think, think about like putting like you know like Fort Knox, but like in in Oakland Bay. Like you think the Crips ain't coming? Like you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what at the same time? Like, can you imagine being on the fucking water for like two and a half months, and then all of a sudden, like you hear a bell through the mist? Oh, exactly, man. I'm robbing everybody that moves. I it's I'm, a dinner oh, bell. So you know, here's the thing: Free the raid money. started. The raid started in the Slavic region before they even had sails. These guys were rowing like 400 miles. Jumping off the boat, swinging battle axes, and then getting back on the boat and rowing away again like total beasts. So, and they had a game that they played as children trying to drown each other to prepare them for jumping out of those boats and fighting the water. So, they were like, they were like the, 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 um, where did, what's his face from Game of Thrones was one of them? The, the the drown god. Um, not the, The I, I could see people like the mountain. I could honestly see. That, to me, when you talk about Norse paganism, those are the guys that I think about. That's yes. the mountain looking guys, the guys that just, you know, their battle axe is the size of a child. Here's, like, here's the thing. They're swinging this 80 foot axe and, um, and then spin. Like, I, I don't know. I, I've always pictured it. But <laughs> it, do you think maybe it's the fact that? A lot of these people that are clinging to this idea of white supremacy being in Norse paganism, do you think it's probably because they don't know or they have no self esteem? Which one do there you think is no self esteem that goes hand I have in hand seen... with this like brotherly thing that the, a dude's trying oh, to rope them into? Yeah, yeah. You, you well, I mean them. it's it's you the can... it's the stupid like you know fucking let me appeal to the sympathies and your your let me use your vulnerability as a weakness against you mm-hmm. and pull you in with this idea that like we do somehow, have some life coaches skin color is relative exactly life coaching and shit and it's all like pipeline you. bullshit. <laughs> like I so I I have some friends that are like deconstructing from you know from the alt right like you know mm-hmm. they 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 found the error of their ways they're trying you know they're, they're working they're working towards this and yeah. the biggest thing that they prey on is trauma so like you know yes. if, if there was some like you know if there's some kid that was like you know beat up he went to a, a you know a, a a school with people of color and he was beat up. And he's some little white boy, and then he meets up with them, and they're like, "Oh, well, we're we're the ones that are better. Like, join us, blah blah." blah. And they prey on that. But like, see, they have like a whole indoctrination of the way that they do things. Like, they know how to prey on you. And mm-hmm. Thomas, here's another misconception blown out the water. Okay. Through archaeological record, the average Viking was five nine. <laughs> You're the telling me between... that me and Thomas were taller than the average what? Viking? Wait a minute. So here's the thing. When you talk about Nate's taller than all of us. Nate is taller than all three of us. Nate is, Nate, what are you, like 6'2"? 6'4". 6'3". I'm 6'3 also. Hold on. I'm 6'2". I'm 6. Okay. I'm 6. So basically what you're saying is this entire panel is taller than most Vikings. Yeah. 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 By a lot. And 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 there are, are these really big guys that are like, you know, the Vikings were these powerful. They're 5'9". Five, they're 5'9". Five, they Come on. So I haven't said that's it That's the while. average. Dude, that's the average. So that means that there was a few that were 5'4", and there was a few that were 6'4". So it's well, that's we also have to look not even that. Medium also, medium the range. world average back then is way smaller. So you're dealing yes, with absolutely. a bunch of motherfuckers that are 5'9", against everybody else that's 5'2". Wow. The one thing I would give the Norse of the time is that their diet was much healthier. They weren't sub- Insisting on poo water and beer yeah, and well, scraps I mean, from the Lord. But you also got to remember that same mentality is what sells Alex Jones's supplements. 
Alex Jones has something that he calls a bone shake, which is basically powdered something you put into a cup with some milk and ice and shake it up, and it's got bone broth in it. Who? And he, Alex Jones, the crazy nut guy. What, the, info I got this amazing info shit yes. that you get on the yes. store and make yourself called You bone know that broth. man? He sells $100 million of that crap a year. I um, people are crazy, man. man. Like I, I, I just want to. I just, I, and I can't. You know, you can get bone broth for soup and just get that. Yeah, but it is a little healthier, but it's not like he's selling it for sixty four dollars. A bone shake. You shake nope. it in. You put milk and ice, and you shake it up, and you drink it. Just the idea of a bone shake. But he sells it. He's trying. How to- many people really look at Alex Jones and say, "I want to look like that"? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, hey, you not- should start a, b- a bone broth shake, bro. You'll be- you, you could with that. You'll with be that look- Zuckerberg next year. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dave the Viking, and I sell bone shake. Just a little bit of this, twice, two times. No, look, look, well, look, you look, know look, what look, that look, is. Look, you look, you look, know look. exactly what that is. Is he saw Slim Fast and he's like, "I want to do that." Yeah, it's it. That's and I think that's. Do you want I my bone, bone in your mouth? In <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Come on, shake think about it. Think, hey, think, 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 think about it though. Dave sells the bone <laughs> shake, right? And then yeah. we add Tiger <clears throat> making protein pancakes and bacon. Oh. oh, oh. I, we I could start our own IHOP. Yeah, you really could. I I could I, I spent <laughs> money. There's a there's an idea just waiting here. Really, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, just just hey man, we can't take any more. We just can't. Like, seriously. Ugh. But that's that it's it's stuff like what Alex Jones is selling that tries to appeal to this idea of this Viking nature. That you got guys all over social media that want to tap into this. You know, like people, everybody's seen the Thor movie. They're like, we like, do Chris have, Hemsworth. like, come on, like that's, but that's we weird. are a bit hyper masculine with aspects of toxic masculinity in there. We all come in with our own misperceptions, and that's mm-hmm. why I kind of like more wholesome people out there doing what they do uh, to kind of rein that back in because some people are coming in because uh, their insecurities are preyed upon or they're feeling Gosh. weak. They feel like, you know, I can't tell you how many times somebody will shave and it's a baby face underneath and they don't look like a tough guy anymore. They they grow it out right away again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, the, the beard, it, that's the one thing I have noticed. A lot of these guys that that cling on to that alt-right Norse thing, they have to have the beard. Well, I mean, they should buy my beard oil. I'm just saying. Shameless plug. <laughs> Shameless plug. <laughs> Savage's beard oil. I, we I can't have something to show you, you know, that would actually be cool, but you know, whatever. Like, like if I'm, a, I'm a mason by trade, if I get it in my beard, it if it'll just turn to rocks, and next thing you know, I'm just scraping my face all day. And I gotta it, cut it off a lot it's, anyway. It's the it's the look, it's the attitude that gets mm-hmm. so many of these guys into this pipeline. It, 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 I, obviously, you guys must also know what is it that keeps them there. Because there are some people that are deconstructing from the all right. A bunch of people that are just, they're so far gone, we they will never come back. But, they, but what keeps anybody anywhere? Change is uncomfortable. Oh. Looking at yourself and realizing, looking at the man in the mirror and looking and realizing that you fall short in so many ways. And to take these little steps to do improvement, you get very uncomfortable. So it's very easy to just slide back into that darkness. Like I know that from like my own experience with you know, with my background with recovery, but like, you know, there's, there, there's just I a would, lot of, you know, it's, it's comfortable and you're, you're, you're accepted. But so it, here's it, the thing that happens a lot too. Like, mm-hmm. you know, so first of all, for like pretty much every person I know that's a North Pagan practitioner okay. is kind of like a history nerd. Like it's just plain and simple. It, it just comes with you got to be, yeah. you know, it's it the, it's the a religion with homework. Yeah, yeah, right. It is. It is. And that, I, I, the beauty of being an atheist is I don't have to believe any of it. I wake up in the morning, I go, I've studied my atheism. I, the sun's out. Like, I consider myself a Rowist. Rowist, Row is the Kryptonian god of the sun. So, <laughs> yes. I get I'm up in the morning, I look outside, and I go, Row is there. Cool. Wait. If it's raining, I don't look outside because I'm pretty sure Row is hiding behind the clouds. I'm good. 
I don't have to do nothing else. Rao doesn't ask me to do anything. I don't ask Rao to do anything. I go, hey, Rao, how you doing? And I keep it moving. But you have a lot of people that put this, 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 and I want to go back to something you guys said, prison culture. How do we stop that? Because prison culture is not just a problem when it comes to Norse paganism. Prison culture is a problem everywhere. Street gangs adhere to prison culture. Norse pagans adhere to prison culture. How do we stop the prison culture part of this? How do we stop that? Here's the thing with that. Like Sun Tzu said it best, divide and conquer. So uh, if, you can, if you can get the powers that be, especially in a prison, if you want to control the masses, you have to separate them into groups and put them at war with each other. Mm -hmm. True. Then you take the leaders of each group and you control them. And now you disseminate control down the ranks. So like, get rid of prison is the only way you're going to really get rid of prison culture. I... You know, I did think about that. And the funny thing is, if you look at, I was watching a documentary on Norwegian prisons. And they are the calmest, coolest places. They're apartments. Yes. They're apartments. The, there was a guy that was being interviewed that had murdered someone and he was in there in, in woodcrafting. He was go just, out four know, days, cooking. Four, go out like three, four cooking. days a week. Yeah, was, yeah, like he was just in there like, you know, yes, I killed someone. It's like, Okay, first off, wow. Secondly, he was just calm. He was just calm. He was wood carving. They let him have radios. There's a window with birds and they go outside. America's not ready for that though. America's not ready for that. We have made, we have created the culture, the prison culture that we have a problem with right now. It's almost like a symbiotic relationship. That's the yeah, prison sure. industrial complex. Like, if yes. you don't change the way that these gangs keep the group safe from, like, whatever the fuck else in that mentality, you can't change that shit. You can't. Like, so until we can offer an equal safety under, like, unity, that's not going to be a thing. We're talking about people's lives. Like, that's not a political stance. That's, that's a fucking... And at the same time, we're talking about a recognized religion that's honored, that has to be honored by the Constitution in the prison systems. Mm -hmm. and, bec and because we all get in our own little tribes within the prison, uh, the whites stay with the whites. And they, they form they their do. own little thing around this religion because it would get them certain privileges and exceptions and stuff like that. Wow. Uh, and next thing you know, they're... They're splitting out into their own little factions. Um, that's how we got the the gang. It, it is a gang, the Aryan Brotherhood. Um, I was just about to say, how do we get the Aryan Brotherhood is a part of that? So is the yeah. hell. I mean, let's be honest. There are a lot of motorcycle groups. There's a lot of motorcycle gangs that also feed into that same yes. mentality. Now, you, you could be a guy that just likes riding motorcycles. You like hanging out with your friends, drinking beer, riding motorcycles. And then you get, I, and I know this for a fact because it just happened to me a couple of weeks ago. I'm driving down my little road on I-70. Damn group of banditos run past me. Like, they don't care about you, dude. I, I'm, gl nope. I'm glad they don't. I was just scared. I'm in my little white suburban. No, I'm in my truck going, oh, that's the banditos. Yeah, that, that, let me <laughs> If you got a flat tire, if you got a flat tire, they probably would have pulled over and helped you change it. And like I'm they, right. Yeah. They don't really care. They don't care about you. They care about, you know, what's their business and their business is I just the business like, of motorcycle gangs. I, yeah. But they, you're not a threat to their business, so they really don't even care about you. You know what I mean? I was scared. Right. I was freaked out. And like I, the only thing is like as soon as they drove past, I went on YouTube and found that gangland episode on the banditos. And I was just making sure that I didn't do anything that was going to get me a bandito sh uh, visit. But motorcycle gangs also perpetuate that. So, but there's also like, so with motorcycle gangs too, like everybody want everybody after, so like, I'm, we make this joke all the time. I, I, I made this joke all the time. Like, so many people came into Norse paganism after the Viking, after mm -hmm. the show Viking. And ah. the show Vikings. The show Vikings came out right around. So, like, if you see what a real Viking clothing looks like, bro, mm -hmm. they wore, like, bright green and yellow wool. Like, they didn't wear yeah. these leather, like, chainmail things that they see. They had, they, they had a few. We found the bro helmet. You yeah. know, there was some, there was some, um, some armor that was involved. That's yes, absolutely for battle. But, like, the way that they dress in the show, it came right on the tail end of Sons of Anarchy. Like, I'm surprised that they didn't have, like, Ragnar Lothbrook cuts. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Right, like we're wearing vests like with you know the full emblem, like you know the Walker crew or whatever. It was entertaining, but it was historic.
historically way inaccurate from the clothing. Was that, yeah. the so who yeah. was yeah. who was alive at the time? Some of those people didn't even oh, yeah, exist. No, yeah, time. no, I was I was looking at that historically. Like uh, Harold Bluetooth Fine Hair was not alive during that that specific time that they were talking. You don't even know. Who yeah, he was, was at alive. the. <laughs> Ragnar was more like the beginning, and he was like the. Uh, well, we're not, we're not even sure if Ragnar's a real, like, historical figure. He, I was just about to ask that. Is Ragnar, Ragnar, was Ragnar no, even real? Was Ragnar there's even real? There's real Ragnar, and there's myth Ragnar, and at the same time, neither of them, neither of them accounted for, would have existed at the same time as Rolo. So fuck brothers. Right. But here's <laughs> the thing, too, with like, with Ragnar, it's kind of like, I actually just did a video on this today. Ragnar is like he's like the 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 the, the King Arthur of the Viking world. Like he was yes. this mythical king that was put together from like three or four different Ragnars yeah. that had yeah. these different yes. quests. Because the tradition, we had a thing called they had a they had a thing called Skull, S K A L D, written in old uh, old Icelandic, and they were the poets. Right. Okay, and they held the oral tradition. They held the history, the lineage, the genealogy, the mythology. It wasn't until the 13th century where it actually got written down. That is and wild. So it is. End up having, so think like, think like the the, the freestyle like the 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 the, the skulls, Think like the freestyle rappers, like the lyrical rappers mm -hmm. of the of that, that time period. So yeah. like think like Biggie Smalls. Don't think like these mumbled schmucks. Think like Biggie Smalls, Biggie. Tupac, and and freaking M. And that's basically what they were. And there was like, really, there was strict rules to the way they said these poems. But each poet from each tribe performed a poem different. Okay. They used different inflection. Like, picture like, picture Biggie doing Who Shot Ya and then Pac doing a remix of it. It's going to sound completely different. Okay. Now, that makes a lot more sense. That, that So these guys were, they... <sighs> I, I need a medieval my wife, tank my wife, love, my wife loves the yeah. Viking show. We we started watching the one that they put on uh Netflix, and it's supposedly like the continuation. Of this, and, yeah, yeah, it's supposedly the continuation of this same story. Like my wife had me sit down and watch this, and I was like, wow, this is wild. But I think and 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 what happened was there was a black woman or a very she was she was mixed up. Oh, and feelings got hurt on that one. Oh wow. Like I went online and you would have thought she came in there with a handkerchief on her head, talking about I ain't be got no weapons. It was a she was a queen. And people freaked. The only out. thing that they could have done to make it worse was give her a lightsaber. And that was the uh, only way to make <laughs> it worse. Yeah. Had she pulled had she pulled out a, a red lightsaber like a Sith, I think people would have been burning their televisions outside. It was it, it was the equivalent of when LeBron James left Cleveland the first time. That's how mad oh, these people were. How no, did they the just know about Vikings have a black person in it? And then the, the discourse was Vikings did not deal with black people. So with oh. all four of you here, Vikings, the Vikings were in the Mediterranean. They were in North Africa. There is there is Islamic sources. So we know that the Vikings, like when you see people with these cosplayers and they have like chin lines, that's cultural appropriation from the Inuit and from the Ma Maori. Okay. But they didn't they didn't wear that. Not that we know of. We don't know if they did. But what we do know is from one Islamic source that mm. they wore eye makeup, similar to what the Egyptians did. But it makes okay. sense because they're from the Norse, they're from these Nordic countries, and now they're in the freaking Mediterranean. Of course the sun's gonna bother them. So yes. think like, you know, football player, lacrosse player, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, using it as a way of blocking out the sun. But so in the, the snow. only source we have a face paint or face, uh, a face makeup. Or in the snow, because you can get snow blinded. Right, you can get blinded. So these, is it, is it really honestly one of those things where people don't know or that they know and would rather live with the fantasy that they lie in their head? Okay, so here's the problem with, like, it's tribalism. here's the problem with, with Norse paganism. Right here's mm -hmm. the issue with that historical documentation. Ninety nine percent, except if it's a stone, of all documentation we have comes from Christianity. It was observation by Christians, mm. so, and the one thing that we do go by was scribed by a man named Snorri Sturluson, right? Mm -hmm. And he was a pagan that turned Christian, but there's a lot of evidence that lawyer. he did that. He did that for political gain. 
He was a lawyer and he was a politician. Okay. See, like yep. we, their part, their way of government, what we call the, what they call the all thing, what we still use the all thing modernly today, is mm -hmm. a parliamentary form of government that's very symbolic and very similar to uh, Congress. Okay. So okay. there's representation. Everybody gets a chance to speak. Things like that. And yeah. So like, this guy, he kind of wrote this down. And he wrote it down so that it could be hidden in the Christian world. Okay. okay. And then, you know, we have the Codex Regius, we have the, 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 the Germanicus. But anything else that was, it, the, 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 the Norsemen didn't write a lot on papyrus. They didn't write a lot on, 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 you know, on paper. And anything they did during the mini ice age, it would be burned anyways to keep them alive and keep the fires going. So the only thing writing system we really have from them is what was etched in stone. Okay. Which we call rune stones. Yeah, it it just seems like sometimes, and I, I I I I know this with Christianity because we see it all the time. People will grab a Bible and then they will they will push their, their own agenda through that Bible. They so, will weaponize it for their political agenda. Yeah. So Anything. you might feel uncomfortable around gay people, but you know if you walk up and say gay people make me uncomfortable, somebody's gonna smack the snot out of you. But if you say Jesus or God hates right. gay people, oh, we can't say anything. Do you think that's the same thing that happens with Norse, pagan, uh, Norse paganism, that people are projecting their own hatred through Norse paganism? Yes. It's weaponized. Okay. It is. Cause yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. It just, it's just because. It's believing I, I, propaganda. I, it absolutely yeah. is. It is 100% propaganda. The problem is that it, it's much like it's much like uh, uh, skinheads and what they call boneheads. Yes. I met I met an actual black skinhead like when I was working at a gas station, and I was, even he, said was this, he a Nazi skinhead? Or no, was that, he, just... he was an actual. He was a non-Nazi skin. He was a black dude. Yeah, I grew up in New York. There were skinheads everywhere in the 80s and 90s. It was yeah. just a form of punk. Exactly. You know, you so, right, Martin, right, right, right. Mm -hmm. It all depended on what color laces they had in their docks, bro. Yeah, right. and if they had white, they were inclusive skinheads. If they had red or yellow, that had symbolism to it. Like, and that's what I asked Martin's him. Martin's tight jeans and flight jackets. And, and that's exactly what I asked him. I told him, I said, so you're a black skinhead? He said, yeah. And he was the one that actually explained to me what a skinhead versus a bonehead is. Right. I think a lot of people, when they hear about Norse paganology, that's what they get. They get the white racism part of it. They don't you even know why. I'm going to tell you how ingrained it is. Okay. You know the SWAT sticker? Yes. That it's is one a... of our most sacred symbols for Odin. Mm, it is. And we had it as a sun wheel. And it was, it, just... it was such a powerful symbol. It's also a symbol that's still used in Buddhism, but it's just reversed. Yes. And in and China. It, it, it's China such a and South powerful Korea because I've seen it. <laughs> like they so the third reich saw so the double the ss uh -huh. used, that they wore the ss soldiers that's a, a room called sewillo it's a letter in the alphabetic language okay. and it's, it means power so it was double power damn so Yo, they knew that these also, symbols that these symbols were so mysterious them. and so powerful they weaponized them and that's and that's where you guys that's where the the combating that that's where you guys come in correct Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's the same uh, fight we're trying against Nazis. We just picked the different battleground for this era. And, and the, the the sad thing is, somewhere in the dark web today, and we all know this to be true, so it's not something like I'm I'm making this up. Somewhere on the dark web today, there is somebody using Norse pagan uh, pagan symbols and and beliefs and things of that nature to press or push some sort of an anti insert thing today like anti jew i see it on tiktok it's every a, day yeah every it's day. probably on the dark web with tiger's face at an account called tiger bomb 1488 but i've listen i've yeah. already that's I've on telegram that's on telegram I I already know. Know. I'm, I'm not really kidding i'm not that is a thing on telegram i know hey, for a fact, i'm pretty sure my picture is someplace on the dark web uh, uh yeah on a body that's being hung by a tree i'm pretty sure of it i i I can't I can't say that it actually I know this to be true, but I know my face is somewhere on the dark web on a, but, on a black body hung with a bunch of white people hanging around it. And they've got my name on it. I know this because here, here's the problem. Mm -hmm. 
here's the problem. So we, we've ta- we've touched on the Norse pagan uh, aspect of it, but uh-huh. there are many like high school cliques of these alt right folks, and all their their terms and symb- symbology are all cross pollinating. So they you know January sixth happened. Oh um, yes. So they so a lot of them have been coming together and working together rather than before then. They were all kind of separate individual islands. But now that land bridge has come up and they can all get to each other. And they're all using the same symbols and stuff to whistle to one another. Um, I'm one of you, whether it be like uh, the Black Sun, like I I just did before I got on air with you guys, um, to some of our runes that have been perverted and changed by Heinrich Himmler and the Mm -hmm. Third Reich. um, (laughs) To TikTok speech. And, and they're even on 4chan and 8chan right now coming up ways to get around moderators and the law to speak about things like the whole gnome hunting craze that started. Yep. Mm-hmm. That, and that started on TikTok. And, and that's because they were hats. And it originally started as a joke on, on 4chan about how, how Jewish folk wear hats, just like the gnomes. And, and they'll say, you might, might come across them saying millions must wear the hats. Millions must wear the stars. And that's, that's, that evolves with their memes and they're joking with one another um, to you have these, these tribes of uh, individual, a lot of them youth. Uh, I got a message. We now have that function in our, in our TikTok inboxes where you can get message requests. Uh, and that shocked me because I had about you know 400 of them in there. And wow. I and I was really like, no, I, d- I don't want a Nazi to be able to message me directly. I don't like that. Um, so Please, no. so uh, I got a message from a sixth grader because he saw my video on 1488, each being into uh, individual dog whistles and uh, often used together. Um, one, uh, the 14 words by David Lane, the 88 is uh, code for the letter H twice. Because it's the eighth letter of the alphabet, which means Heil Hitler. Um, so a lot of these kids are perceiving adult male culture. This is how you're you're masculine. This is how you think. So it brings them into it. They might go off on the off ramp of, of you know Norse talk or Viking. Um, they might end up over on Patriot talk and, or become you know Patriots. They're all cross pollinating, but now they all have a a shared language in a way and i and some days i feel like i'm a a, a linguist um on on how much stuff i can see between the lines or real or see something happening in real time that's starting to become a trend like like a sound on, on tiktok uh Which with is, these guys that's not, that that to me is the biggest cowardice part of all of this every one of you wears a i'm guessing a thor's hammer right there yes a Mjolnir. Okay, yeah. so it's That's designated a hate symbol. Fun fact. Exactly. Of them. But they tried to. They have tried to. I see a lot of people that wear, you know, Mjolnir that will be the first people to try to say something about their anti this that and the third. But then they do stupid stuff like no, like gnome hunting. Like if you hate Jewish people, just say that. Why? Why are you being a coward and trying to find a way around it? it, it, it moderators here's the thing when when we but here's the thing too yeah moderators but like here's the thing too like like i listen if you call yourself if you call yourself like a a, like if you call yourself a norse pagan i don't have the authority nor do i say that you're not like if that's the faith that you follow i can just tell you how to historically recreate it accurately but when we like our rituals our festivals are nothing but like venerating and loving nature and yes we have this warrior culture to it Mm. because that was a part of it but like from childhood dude i love nothing more like i'm six foot two blonde hair blue eyes 225 i'm tattooed like crazy and i love nothing more than standing out in the rain barefoot in the grass Oh, so there is something about that in your toes, yeah. Yeah, there, 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 I'm, I'm gonna get to this warrior thing in a second. Let me reset the show right. So, here. like, we're very nature venerating. Like, when you do it, like when, when but, I don't want to say when you do it correctly. When you, when the way that I do it, my personal gnosis, my, my, the way that I practice, I practice 
I practice Frith. I practice the Havamal. I practice the ways of, you know, be kind to strangers, but be weary of them. Don't sleep with witches. Help people out. Keep your mouth shut sometimes when it's time to keep your mouth shut. And also speak out against evil and give it no quarter. Don't give it any peace. Ah, exactly. Let me let me reset the show right quick. This is the Villains View on Hot101.net and streaming exclusively on Ghost Car Productions. My name is Thomas Bishop. I am known as the Villain. I am joined by my regular co-host, Joker and Gambit, and our very special guests for this evening, giving us a whole lot of Norse pagan everything. <laughs> Tiger Bomb, Savage, and Dave the Viking, a.k.a. Jason Reigns. Dreamy eyes. <laughs> Jason Reigns, dreamy eyes. Jason Reigns. Or you can be you can be Roman Momoa or Jason <laughs> Roman <laughs> Momoa. That's oh it. Oh my god. That needs to be on a shirt. Roman Momoa. He is Roman Momoa. There he is. All right. So is it <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't forget his counterpart, Love Dusty you, Rhodes. <laughs> so right. here here's 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 something. What draws white supremacists to Norse paganism when it comes to the warrior aspect of it. Do, do you think that's a draw? Like the idea, because don't get me wrong. Imagery. Uh, it, yeah. Exactly. Because I, I, mean, I don't, I, I, I hate people. fighting. I hate fighting. I, I can't, I can't fighting. remember the guy's name, but there is specifically an alt-right group that kind of has a guru um, that Steven goes, McNeil, that McNally? does nothing but maybe, I, I can't AFI. remember. They McNally's go out from the AFI. Yeah, they go out into the woods and they do hyper masculine shit out in the woods and drink drink beer and mead and and howl at the moon and get in touch with their with 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 their fetal gal or whatever he's he's telling them. Why don't they um, just play football? Why don't they just go out there and hit, play <laughs> play rugby? Rugby, listen, rugby oh, is one of the kill. Play Viking hockey. Play Viking field hockey. Oh, Thank you. Fun. Listen, yeah. rugby is yeah. rugby is literally one of the most manliest sports I've ever seen, and I've seen women play rugby. It right, but cool. will you be accepted into it? Will you be accepted if you're in a tribe and you're accepted? Now you got this whole family kind of tribal bond going on. Right. And it's hard to leave those kind of structures, even if they're toxic. It, it's true. That is true. I just find it amusing that that's the one thing that drew all of them in. The idea, I'm the Viking and I can kill. And my again, my wife is the one that made me watch, had me sit down and watch Vikings. But I was not, I, listen, I had watched Game of Thrones. I was, I was, I, I, I was, I, I've seen the Dothraki. I'm good. I don't need, like, but my wife was like, no. Here's Dothraki, Dave. Dothraki, Dave. Oh, Lord, not oh, Rocky, they... Dave. Really? So, but one of the things that, like, is used, and so, okay, so the propaganda that's perpetrated, right, is this great pagan purge, right, that Christianity oh, came you know. in, and by force and by bloodshed, they took over, and they took out all the pagans, but there was still these standing men, you know, you have the, the unknown berserker at the Battle of Stanford Bridge that with one axe on a choke point, took out hundreds of English uh, soldiers, right? So they have this romanticism. But then there's the truth. They converted because of money and greed. They converted because of land. They converted because of trade throughout Europe because they were of the non-Abrahamic faith. So they were looked upon as like uncivilized and country dwellers. That's what the word pagan actually means. It means country dwellers. Ah, country and dwellers. He and heathen means from the hearth or from the county. Hearth. Right, from the hearth, which means that, like, you're just like a simple country folk. I am a heathen. Yep. I'm Absolutely, so I'm a heathen. Nate, you are a, Nate, yeah. you're a heathen, man. You are, I've always been a heathen. I, I know. You, you, <laughs> you've embraced your heathenism. That is the cool thing. You have embraced it. You've heathen been, hedonism. Hedonism for heathens. That is, that's a, How dare you? Wait, Listen. That needs to be a book when you read it out on heathen, 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 heathen. So what I'm hearing here is you've been to a pagan festival. Okay. I, <laughs> I, I, I will say this much is it, 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 if it's not Norse paganism, the other one that they really like, the, the, the other alt-right pipeline that they really like are the Spartans. Yeah. They love the damn Well, Spartans. it's the small amount of, of warriors versus a large army. 
It, it, it overcome it's it's the, it's the, I will go out the, for mine. I will die for this cause. It's the it's the idea of overcoming the odds. Like whatever. But, do you want me? Do you want me to tie it to World War II? Or? But that's only surface level, though. They too. don't once they dive into everything and actually educate themselves. It doesn't have anything to do with what they believe. No, it doesn't. Just like right. Atlantis. That's why yeah, I love giving Trump support them it. that yeah, dichotomy. People get locked on stupid shit and hold on to it with a dying conviction. Look here. Of I, am a, I, I am a buck fifty soaking wet, and I am mostly bone. And I guarantee you, I will probably beat the living hell. I do 30, 40 of them dudes by myself and don't ex and don't go to going, hey, I'm some fuck, some, some like, I mean, this crazy is a lot of them do actually man. train. A lot of them they're all like this, train, A lot of them do train. The in martial doesn't even need a bone do train in tactical warfare. Like, you know what I mean? Like we, they really think we get a lot of vets. We get a lot of vets. A Look, lot. I, I am, I am, I am not, I don't need, as Tiger just said, I don't need a bone shake. I am the bone shake. <laughs> <laughs> are you? You know what? Are, are you saying? At least you're honest about it. At least you're honest about it. You Man, now I got the Harlem laugh. Shake song in my head. You know what makes me laugh too is like you know they they romanticize like the three hundred in Sparta, right? The Battle of Thermopylae. Yes. And everybody fails to remember that like Leonidas died after three days of battle. And these dudes joined these groups because they couldn't take it in the butt while they were in prison. So, like, you know, once they find out the truth, like, you know. Well, like, do you want to know the truth? <laughs> so, so you got to understand, Hitler was putting on this whole shtick about the Aryans, right? And um, yeah. his ally uh, over in Italy, you know, Italy. they also, yeah. Do you, do you know that they also considered themselves Aryans? And right. they consider themselves more Aryan than the Germans? Eugenics. Wow. Yep. Now that's because this ties back to the uh, uh, all the things that the Greek and Roman cultures do it. And if you look online, you will find you you, you can you can Google Nord, Nord Cuck, or um, uh, uh, what do they call themselves? Uh, you'll see it with those two. They have they have a meme character that looks like a Mediterranean man with a beard who always considers themselves more superior than the Nords. Because this all stems back to this Mussolini Hitler dichotomy of who was more Aryan. They're all Aryan, but I'm more Aryan than you. And they they've they've built this weird little meme uh, hyperculture where that's that's where they look at things is we're boiled down to memes and uh, Mussolini and Hitler basically going, I'm I'm purer than you because we we built structures that are still standing and. You know, uh, all the advancements they had at the time. So that's why you see a lot of it. But you'll see all kinds of, they'll, they'll still, still use the 1488. They'll still use the Black Sun. They'll still use uh, the Bad Othala rune with the little feet at the bottom. Um, mm. Yeah. I, I call well, it Bootsy. Right. You know, it's funny though, yeah, too, is see... if you turn Othala sideways, it's the Jesus fish. Yeah. Oh, God. Wow, that came out of nowhere. The Jesus fish? If you turn, yeah. so we have a, a room called Lothal. Now, the rooms are always straight because they were carved. Yeah. So they're not rounded, right? <laughs> they're always straight lines and 45, like 45 degree angles usually on them. But we have one that stands up straight that looks like the modern day Jesus fish. Like if you have the computer in front of you, Othal, O T H A L L. No, don't worry about that. I will. Well, if you to, turn it sideways okay. and round it, it's the Jesus fish. Right. Hmm. Thomas. Oh, yeah. Wow. It, it, it does kind of... It does, that, look like it, yes, it does look like the Jesus fish. Turn, turn it sideways. looks like the Jesus fish. Now, you, Institute... It, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, it, hold on. Institute, two lines at the bottom of it that they went diagonal on both sides, and that's literally a Nazi symbol. It's a winged yep. Apollo. I was going to hmm. say, has a tiger yeah, done... Okay. A couple videos on that one. I've done about, and I've almost to 200 videos on this stuff. Okay. Before no, I meant I that one specifically, this, uh, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Before I forget this, like Savage mentioned earlier about the SS using the double swallow, it's my understanding that Norse did not double runes like that, too. So no. that's kind of like magical blasphemy. Yeah. 
So I mean, oh, yeah, in they, a writing system, a double room. So when you when you put in double room book, would be like the sunroom because that's right. like. But you got to remember, it was a language. It was a written language. It was a, it was a written language. We look at it as if it's mystical because Odin hung himself on a tree for nine days and reached into the in, into the well, and you know the runes came out while he was screaming. But mm -hmm. if you look at it from a written language perspective, like a runologist, like Lisbeth Emer, like you know people that have a PhD in this, when you right. use a double when you use a double letter in Old Norse, it's a tongue roll. So it's an emphasis on that word. I am getting more knowledge than I have ever needed right now. Like, uh, <laughs> Thomas, yes, got another one for you. You know the Bluetooth symbol, right? Yes, uh, I did. I went viral with that one. Okay, add wings to the back of this. There you go. It's, That's a actual. Listen, man. All right, my brain is. So the reason product. that it's a Bluetooth symbol is that the two guys, two gentlemen that worked on the project that were developers of the technology they weren't the inventors like i've had all these comments on this video that i went viral with um they 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 were having a beer after work and they were discussing what it was and harald bluetooth was a viking king that united denmark and norway parts of norway he was the first viking king to bring christianity and his stone the yelling stone has the first symbol of christian of christ in Norway, I mean, in Denmark, it's the, the oldest image that's known of it, but he united really? the kingdoms. So he brought the kingdoms together of, you know, the Christian Vikings and the pagan Viking, he brought them together. So these guys were discussing it and they were big Viking fans. They loved like, you know, history. And they said, well, we're uniting PC technologies and cellular technologies. So they named it Bluetooth after Harald Bluetooth, the, the, the famous Viking king. And he was called Bluetooth because he had a dead tooth in his mouth that was a weird blackish blue. Wow. Huh. Wow. Oh, yeah. They had some crazy names back then. Hmm. That, I'm sure. I, I'm sure. That is I'm sure harata, harata, and it, it translates to Bluetooth. I'm sure one of your, your wife's favorite characters off the Viking show, Thomas, was Lagatha. I don't see that's the thing. I don't remember half of those names because they're like the wildest like, like there were names in there that I was I was not trying to pronounce. I couldn't do it. Like Blackguard is about, about as good as I can get it. The rest of them I was like, yo, man, just correct, you, correct, don't correct, 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 correct. you don't want to get your ass beat by a Norwegian grandma that knows old Norse. Like gargoyles come to life while you're getting your ass kicked. Like, exactly. like a magical language, dog. <laughs> yes, and see, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I'm good, man. I don't know. No, correct, no, correct, no. Me if I, correct me if I'm wrong, gentlemen, but in historical like facts, Lagatha couldn't even have children. And in that show, they documented that Beer and Ironside was, was her, her child, but Lagatha yeah. could actually not bear children. Uh, I don't, um, I'm not 100% accurate on that. I'm like, I can't That's commit to that. I would, have to, I would have to look up. I'm yeah. not sure if in the sagas, yeah. Lagathur is Ironside's uh, mother. Really? I've heard the same, but yeah, I can't confirm that. You know, because we, the sagas were also written down in the, you know, in the, in the, in the like 17th century. And if, if they were written down, a few of them were written earlier, but then the Germanicus came out in the 17th century, the 1600s, 1700s, 18th century. And so by that time, these these stories were so embellished by these oral traditions. Okay, so game of, it's a historical game of telephone. It, it, kind and of. That's the that would that because that was going to be the next question. It's the five you pound see, fish. By the time the boat gets back to the dock, that it's a thirty pound fish. Yep. So you you a lot of of a lot of what passes now for. Because I know you guys have debated against the the Nazis online. I'm I'm I'm. They don't debate. Have to ask. Well, they I don't. don't debate. They'll say they something, don't. and you guys will go in and then just correct the snot out of them. I, I've got a whole duet saga with Tiger of us going after one called Bully Boy. I believe it's a fun one. That was fun. So it, 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 I, I asked remember you before, but Savage, you said that a lot of what passes for knowledge about uh norse viking history was was written on stone correct what was yeah. so stone rune stones right is what rune they're stones. called they're found all over scandinavia they've actually found a few in america um, yeah 
and they found except the that one there. about Ragnar. Except that one about Ragnar. Except that one about Ragnar. Ragnar. But that really was a stone of Ragnar. But it was the legacy stone. It it it, it, right. it, it described the saga. It wasn't his grave, but it got right. past this. We found the grave of Ragnar Lothbrok. Bro, we don't even know if he existed. And people are falling for it. But that's how uneducated some people are on it. So, like, whereas Tiger, like, his platform, like, he he, he goes hard, bro. He goes hard at, at Nazis. You know, he boops his snootsies on the snootsies. You know, like, <laughs> like, my platform, I do a lot more education. And, like, he does. I like I tell I do like the history of things and I do like what the correct information is and I know I do it right because I have like friends in Norway and friends in like you know in in Sweden and in the North countries that are like like dude you like your your information is so on point it's amazing like I go into sources like Tiger hit me up like hey where can I get this I'm like dude did you check this museum site did you check this he's like I didn't even fucking think of that stuff oh sorry my mind was I didn't even think of that. Hey, 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 don't worry. Hey, look, don't worry about it at this point. Dave's already said it like seven times. I want to say Damn that. Okay, that's why I was trying to be quiet. First hour without one. I just want to point that out. <laughs> Joker has a so, over on his So side. I have a, I got a fun thing for you, Thomas. When okay. he says I go, when I go hard, everyone, yes, it is by American standard comedy, but I like to think of it as Norse flighting, F L Y G H T. Kenning. That's the thing. Okay. Or Kenning, yes. Kenning. And it's basically it's, an insult contest. Right. It's a rhyming insult contest. In, I don't man, rhyme. Right. I can't. It would be, a I Kenning can't would definitely really be a well, rhyming actually. insult contest. It's a big thing, battle rap. Like, they, like that literally. Exactly. Like, it's it's basically battle, battle, it's battle rap. And I'm it telling almost, you right now, we do not want any of these shitbirds, fucking white supremacist douchebags to pretend they can do that because I will have a field day and make 47 videos in one hour. <laughs> like, <sighs> like I can write like a motherfucker. I just don't have the stage presence for it. Cause I'm just too fucking goofy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, but like when so it I'm comes to just like to, uh, poetically uh, talking <laughs> shit, if I'm going to get around be... guidelines and duck and weave the way I do, I'm not going to be able to rhyme it. I might be able to get like a measure going, but that's about it. Not hmm. with guidelines. Bro, honestly, if we want to do like a chain one where everybody's fighting against one person, I will write it for everybody. We can well, input back and forth and then I'll have a part. Fuck we do it, have I'm a in. thing coming up on Norse Talk, and uh, Einar is going to be doing it. Um, but we're going to have oh, the roast. You remember the fryer roast? A uh, fryer yeah. roast. Um, I'm think I think I'm going to be. You're the moderator. Hosting you're the moderator. With him. Okay, I, so I'm going to be so hosting hard. it, and we're going to get a. It should be interesting. And right now, Who's getting between, right now, the guest of honors between me and 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 Austin True Eric. I I I, yeah. I I I can't wait to watch this. That's the crazy part. I really, literally, cannot wait to watch this. Well, That's Thomas, hilarious. one of the things that I do, right? One mm -hmm. of the things that I do on on uh, on TikTok is I do like these positive roasts. So like, we'll get people that come in like people's comments and they'll talk trash about like one of the creators, and like you know, they, like somebody said something about Tiger Bomb, and like I literally do like Chuck Norris jokes, but like. I like. I think I forgot one of them. I said like, um, Tiger Bomb took poverty and put it in a chokehold. Now it uh, now it gives back. Like you know, like I, I have like all these stupid like Chuck Norris jokes that I do. I like do those. Those are awesome. On a person, you know, and I do bad to the bone. We need like, we, we need more of those. Dude, we have one dude on the app, Berserker Bear, who's uh he's a gothy. He's a teacher, and yeah. he's he's freaking jacked, bro. He's jacked. He's like he's he's literally the like stereotypical look of a Viking, just gigantic, all tattooed. He's a tattoo artist. He, he forges I think knives. He's a marine. He, he does, what? I think he was the marine. Yeah, and he's just like this laid back dude that like visually like he looks like he's gonna whoop your ass within the thirty first thirty seconds. But he's like Mister Miyagi. Like he's like this spiritual. He's like, a great he, guy. He's amazing. Yeah, he's and like so one of the chill. lines that I said was the Catholics gave him uh, communion with a steak and a potato. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Damn. Dude, no, I said he goes to church and the priest yeah, actually, confesses to him. 
<laughs> the positive God roast would be a Lee. great standard. The positive roast would be a great standard, but I just thought of this the other day. Like my favorite Tiger positive video is still Jack's Jack Carnage with the fucking like what is that looking up? Is that a tiger? Dude, I fucking love that. I just started yeah, laughing my ass off. But like I want to get an edited version where it's just like Tiger falling, like right at somebody or some shit, and like, but just with the bag coming. I did that. I did that. I took I took the kids the obstacle course and I shot footage where I Tarzan wow. roped and did a tea bag to yeah, the comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But fun fact, fun fact, one because doing pull-ups doing it, showing yep. your tape. One one with each uh, with a rope in each hand. But that's led to this great thing. Uh, uh we're calling it charity, uh, because I teabag Nazis so much. Um, that was fun to explain to my parents. Um, yes. <laughs> but uh, there's when we do the St. Jude Children's Hospital uh, fundraiser coming up uh, for this belt on my wall, um, I'll be selling some of that. And anybody, even you, Thomas, can try take my belt. Okay. Oh, I'm not. I don't know. I I'm good. I go. What I what I gotta do? Wait a minute. Hold just, on. Hold on. Fundraise. It's range. just. Yeah. It's not about like that way I do. That, that'll <laughs> look really good next to you. And, and it'll be a great so lesson. Thomas. And it's a great lesson in Frith. Um, so basically, it's about who raises the most money. It doesn't matter what you do. If Thomas wanted to get on there and read a book, you know, naked, let's say. I, I, uh, I keep trying to tell y'all. The book, book ass or, book club. Listen, the book or, ass or just uh, say, book club is still coming. I don't care. Or Listen. you you could just play a little Sarah McLaughlin, get real close to the camera, and be all. <laughs> That's exactly Sarah McLaughlin. <laughs> right, yeah. Like at this, at this stage of the game, like if you're not playing the Titanic music, what are you doing? Like, oh, oh, I, I, I swear, I God, everybody, no, everybody uses Celine After Dion or Man. Air Supply right now. No, I'm going to be using. You know, after the sub, I haven't been able to walk into a subway since. To breathe with no air. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, they get that I, sub um, and they put all that meat on there and they just squish it together. I have I'm not gonna, been able I'm to gonna get a have sub a cigarette a in my mouth, inhaling nicotine and smoke, and being like, "How how am I supposed to breathe with no air?" I, now, I will I will say this much because a lot of people have have thought that it was wrong for people to talk bad about these these millionaires on this submarine billion billion billionaires, billionaires. Billionaires. B, B. B. I, I, B. I, I think in a lot of ways the reason the reaction was the way it was when it came to those people is how much money how much uh, an, the insane amount insane amount of money that they all spent to get on that sub there and was 1.25 million in that sub for the ride yo, hold up here's the great thing I would have loved to that's crazy nah. I will I will try and find this video and repost it again or send it to you guys that this dude hit it so hard on the head it was perfect. He's like, why is it like that? Why don't we give a shit? Or why is it that way to us? Mm -hmm. It's simply for the fact that like, you know, it's the Spider-Man thing. With great power comes great responsibility. We all know it. Everybody in the world has heard that shit. We all grew up with it one way or another, right? Yeah. So these people are choosing to not do shit with their immense power every single day. And we're supposed to let even more money get spent on their fucking funerals and shit and more than like heroes. What? Because they were rich because they were affluent and stood by while we all met most of our demise and shit. Mm -hmm. I had some, That's I had what. somebody, I had somebody come at me and was like, well, I at least feel bad for the son who got conned. No, fuck. No, no, no. He no. was a spoiled little brat and he went with them and he died. Boo hoo! I don't Do care. Do you know what his son did while he was in mourning? He hired an OnlyFans star. He well after that he hired an OnlyFans uh, lady to sit on him for thirty minutes. What like, is that? Oh, he's, talk he's talking about the one that went down and died with him. But at no, the, same the one time, that like, went yeah, in the sub like, and died and, and and died with him. Listen, it's like, still the loss of human life, so it's still sad. But, yeah, exactly. It's the loss of human life, but we don't have to but, treat them like but they're the only comparable like, I know, could make civil the only, condolences. The only yeah, comparable exactly. I was able to make is is and, and to have any sense of feeling of what, what they're going through was to take the kids swimming and go underwater and hold my breath as long because that you know I gotta go to work on Monday. So that's where I'm at with it. 
But well, here's the thing. Like, here's here. the thing. Yeah. Literally, what was paid was $1.25 million to get in that sub, never mind how much was spent on the technology to bring it down there. And, you I mean, how much hunger could you save? How many homeless vets could have been housed? Yes. I, I said the exactly. same thing. I said the same thing. Twelve hundred dollars. All I all I would have asked for out of all of that two hundred fifty thousand one person spent was twelve hundred dollars, so I could get my teeth. Right. Like. Hear me out. Hear me out. Each one of those are effectively a uh, an apartment for one person, complete with game console. I we mean, can put vets in them, and they yeah. couldn't have sprung for anything more than a thirty dollar lot to take. They, but they're the also the same people that will tell other people who have to to live paycheck to paycheck to pull themselves up by bootstraps. Which just stop buying Starbucks. I I, I I I I. It wasn't until somebody broke that down to me that I realized how stupid it is for us to tell people that bootstraps are the straps they used to have on the front of boots, right? right. Right. Mm -hmm. People stress to me. People stress to me to get a second job. I'm working almost forty. I'm working forty hours almost, and I'm actually working overtime now with taking on more graveyard shifts with my afternoon shifts Monday through Friday. And people are like, "You should still get a second job since you can't afford to do anything." Let's be real. The advice has actually changed from finding a full time job instead of a part time job when we were younger to now getting a second job to work 80 job. hours a week or skip fucking meals. True. True. Just to survive. Well, inflation, Just to inflation survive. Inflation since the last time that there was a raise in the minimal federal wage, the federal minimum wage, inflation has gone up like 12,000% to like 0.25%. Yeah, 725, you can't survive on nothing. And Sorry. The, Dude, we are the, completely the thing that pisses comparable. me off, the thing that pisses me off is with boomers when they're like, yeah, no, like you gotta save your money and you got a house, bro. You bought a house for twenty five dollars, dog. Like, <laughs> right? You bought a house for a pack of ramen noodles and a promise like, to cut somebody's yard. Get a pack of Newport one hundreds for the price that you paid for that Cadillac when it first came out. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I can't. I absolutely cannot stand when three boomers try to tell people to pull themselves up by their bootstraps. I can't stand that. It's ridiculous. Three pack, three packs of cigarettes is what it costs me. <laughs> For that Logitech controller that they used in that submarine, three packs of cigarettes. Mm -hmm. That's thirty bucks. Okay, yeah, controller. <coughs> Tiger, you okay over there? Tiger, what are you doing? Ti what are you doing? Like he's setting off fireworks in the kitchen. Well, I'm I'm checking on the neighbors because they're. I have um like a it's like a church group home and they've got like thirty people over next door and they're setting off all kinds of stuff you need to oil wanna... that door bro <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah that, that door did sound that, that that door sounded like you was Sounds like you're going free. into the basement no, of no, a monster's those, house <laughs> those are those i was just waiting for vincent Tibetan price to be like talking right now <laughs> so like the thriller <laughs> yeah. but there 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 are way more problems that could be could have been solved with just the money they spent to find these people just the money they spent to find them Yo, yeah. but Yo, the okay why did they make billionaires in the waste of money okay we're talking about some dead ones condolences to the families yeah but we've all made videos about why it's okay to joke about it so whatever the next thing we need to notice is how much money is going to get fucking wasted on these two baby back bullshit bitch ass millionaires fighting in a fucking cage orchestrated by Dana White, and they're going to dance more than two fucking overpaid heavyweights. In the meantime, <laughs> Twitter's crashing. I, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing you on Twitter like the meme with the, the, the dog on fire. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> it's Elon yeah. Musk now. Everything's on fire. This is fine. How this is fine. Can I distract? Is, think folks? about how oh, much money that shit's Zuckerberg. gonna be. Like we're gonna pay what, like fifty to a hundred dollars each per pay per view or whatever the fuck. Or the bar cover is gonna be like ten to fifteen dollars. Doesn't matter. Like that much money is gonna get wasted. It's gonna go to these two assholes. These two assholes have 
politically fucked over the planet or done nothing to help them. Like, I mean, come on, what, Tesla? It, it, he didn't even make the technology. Is, I gotta be anyway. grateful to Elon Musk because a lot of my internet business is run off PayPal. So, like, thank you, bro, for inventing that. Like, exactly. Okay, okay I, I give him PayPal. I, I've, I've said all along, there is no such thing as an ethical billionaire. There is no right. such thing as exactly. an ethical billionaire. So, the idea of Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg getting in a cage and fighting, the only way I would be interested is that right before they started throwing punches at each other, somebody jumped in and cut them both the, to pieces. You know what I mean? Like, Chuck a few bottom. alligators in the cage with them. Oh, uh, hey, all I gotta say is with these guys' money, with these now guys' money, why don't we have, <laughs> with all these guys' money, why don't we have robots fighting? That, Yo, I'm hold just up, saying. Hold up. Listen, Why don't, I watched actually, Real Steel with, with uh, time. what's his face? Oh, I love that movie. movie. Like, exactly. I love <laughs> Real Steel <laughs> with Hugh Jackman. I yes, love yes. that damn. We're talking movie. about. We're I talking about billionaires, movie. right? We're talking about like epic billionaires, and then Dana White's not far behind, right? Oh, so yeah. why don't we start some kind really of petition that says all the fucking profit from this needs to go to solving a fucking world problem? Any problem. Pick a problem. It, but all here's the thing that you like, make from this cage fight, solve something. I don't care what it is. Solve something. Yo, wait, actually, wait. straight up, straight up, I want this on record saying this shit. How about with that money, we as the public get to buy our own politicians <laughs> back and be corrupt and play the game our way? Oh. That ain't going to happen. Oh, I would love to get money at them. That much yeah, money, if we throw it at them, we can buy them back. That would I would love to see Norse paganism see representation in government. Wins, and I'm just going to say right, this. Nobody that works up that high, nobody that works up that high doesn't do it with the aspirations of finally reaching that level where they can be that corrupt to make that much money. So I yes, lovely. if we throw enough money at the problem, we can start to fix the problem by buying it from within. Our lovely Promise. brother, our lovely brother in the guild, literally in the, in the chat on Facebook, just said that the pay-per-view name could be Cash of the Titans. That would be awesome. Yo, that is dope as shit. That is perfection. Ooh, that really is. I like it. Cash of the Titans. Not Clash, but Cash of the Titans. Cash of the Tampons. That's brilliant. He said Tampons. That's brilliant. <laughs> oh, my God. Not the Tampons. Yeah, I mean... Wouldn't it be more used tampons than just regular tampons? Uh, I, I, They've I, never I, been changed. They, they, <laughs> they never have been changed, never will be changed. I, I kind of think it's, but it, if they're- They're going to fight for the toxic shock weight belt. Oh my goodness. And and then we got to see <laughs> Elon Musk with no shirt on. His, okay. Elon can, <laughs> Elon has been obviously seen, cannot, cannot tan. Be unseen. He cannot tan. That man has the milk whitest legs I have ever seen in my entire. There is white and then there's Elon Musk. That man is he, almost translucent with how white. I'm whiter than he is. Not He no, makes no, no, blush. Not while surfing. No, no he has like a is. milky complexion to him. He really no, does. Just, he has the looks like, It almost looks like artificial skin. Like I, after seeing him on Joe Rogan, like I really think he's an alien. Like I, I really I, think I, he's like the little guy from, M from MIB that was like sitting in the head. Like, all all that Savage, is like, <laughs> Savage is looking at pictures of fucking Zuckerberg and he's like, man, don't you have Westworld money? That's what he looks like. A West, he looks like one of those he dolls from like Westworld. Westworld. He looks exactly like one of those dolls from Westwood. The the android from Westworld from Aliens. He does. Look here. The, Look here. The android from the Alien franchise. Look here. I just go. want. I just want to remind you guys that I am my own nightlight. <laughs> uh, that is that is wild. Yeah, you? but the difference between you and him is he's a snow seal pad. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, my, yeah. My niece has you so beat. Like every time it's too bright outside, I'll look at her and be like, Bean, go put on a hoodie. No, Ooh. we have been watching real time as Elon Musk fell into the alt right pipeline as soon as he got the head of Twitter. Tell me he, I'm wrong. He has broken. Dude, but that's also like Twitter was the honest thing how do you break a of social the century media because. Well, that's the thing. Fuck Twitter, but it was the honesty thing of the century because everybody jumped on there instantly just to drop the end bomb. And then Elon Musk, we found out real quick, like he said, went alt right pipeline real quick, but we realized he's not actually smart. He's a fucking idiot. Wait a minute. Yeah. 
Hold on. He buys it. Okay, so he buys Twitter, right? He's talking free speech, free speech, free speech. Within 48 hours of him buying it, the Tell use him. of the N-word went up 510%. And he went, those are my people. Those are my people. That's what he did. What? Like, everybody's like, we want our free speech. We want it. And then they get it. And the first thing they want to do is use the N-word. But I mean, was it like, was it the hard R or was it? Yeah. Like, it, was the oh, hard, yeah. it was the hard R. It was uh, the it was the hard A. It was every variation of the word. I, I don't know how many times I saw the word nig. Like, what in the... Somebody, and I'm not making this up because I saw a picture. Somebody said, I'm on a diet. This is this was the tweet. I am not making this up. I'm on a diet. So NIG, 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 it, it, like all the way down, all the characters was just NIG. And the joke was, since he's trying to lose weight, he'll lose half the letters. This, I I saw this. I That's saw, not even funny. It, exactly. So why do it? Why even make that joke? I'm on a diet. So what are you doing right now? What is this? Like, well, that's, that's they, they try to do this edgy up. thing. They try to be combative and edgy and skirt the line. And here's the rules. And I'm going to dance around the rules. But that's also why they come into our comment sections on various social media and, mm -hmm. and, and say some of the things they do. Like, uh, one of the ones right now is uh, someone that made a pride post last month. They'll come in and, and write, that was last month. Just to start it. Just to start. They're very slick in how they approach things. Now, when, when Twitter did its thing, it was like carte blanche to just go nuts. And we watched in real time, as, as Elon Musk said, here is a demographic that, that I want to court that will give me the most power or is the most easily manipulated. Those are my people. You know, that's why they, they dislike the three of the four of you, right? You understand that. You guys are, are kicking over their their Norse pagan fantasy. You know, in fantasy, all the all the the, the Vikings were six foot five and blonde hair and blue-eyed, and they looked like me in reality. Here y'all come in going, excuse, actually, excuse me. Like <laughs> y'all kill them with that. That's mm -hmm. that's why they no, you it's like they don't like my TikToks. I don't come in like excuse me. <laughs> I know, but see that's the thing. They don't like they can't stand me because an educated black man bothers them. I'm supposed to be Motisa, so they don't like me anyway. I start off, I come out the bat when it at with an education they can't stand. Yeah. So here y'all come kicking in their whole Norse paganology Aryan super super race, and then they come around the corner and they think, well, at least I could be a Spartan. And then you find out the Spartans like having sex with dudes. Oh right? yeah, they, they, I laugh at every Spartan helmet tattoo I see. They, it, it, it's yeah. it's hilarious. Yeah. It's like y'all are not Spartan giving. Race. See, here's I the thing, though. Really here's the thing, the though. And this is where, like, so back then there wasn't really like this concept of like homosexuality it was power yes so you were an underling if you took it and you were the more powerful person if you gave it mm -hmm. well that's and why that's the north thing it was basically about. it was more about listen, standing in, in in the society savage if you well, make a video that says that i can promise you right now one of two things are going to happen number one you're going to be responsible for a whole lot of people that look a lot like you getting beat up or <laughs> you're going to be responsible for a whole lot of people that believe that the Spartans look like Leonidas and how dare you take something there that you're going to see people jumping off of stuff high, really high. Stuff. I can't believe it. The Spartans were gay. Oh, well, yo, yo, yo. Okay, so on oh, that. They're going to be like, uh, yeah. I'm going to find Professor separate. Mike didn't <laughs> like it when I came into his video saying, yeah, uh, the Spartans were groomers. So I, now what? I'm trying yo, to say okay. it, man. No, I tried to now, tell speaking you. of the gay thing, speaking of the gay thing, I've been trying to figure out how to word this genteel, and I'm sorry it's not going to sound good here, but like Norse pagan, the, the Viking Scandinavian thing Same about thing. it, was basically, well, kind of, basically they said, they said, be as gay as you want, just don't be a bitch about it. Right. Yeah. That's no, it. That's how it went. You can't, 
you can't lose your masculinity through being gay. You just gotta be. You gotta be a man about it. Like yeah, whatever. The big, like, I'm the like, biggest man. Like be out. Be out front about it. Like d- right. Hey, the, exactly. The biggest my problem man. we have. Like Listen, literally, Thomas. Sven's my man, and I love Sven, and Sven loves me. Thank you, Thomas, Thomas, you really Thomas, you're really gonna get mind like, blown right now. I, I, go, go, ahead. Ahead. Well, right go right ahead. Pull the, pull the pin. Well, they have Sven and Svetlana at the same time. Like, pull the so pin. You know Loki from Marvel, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. So Odin. So in in the real mythology, in Marvel, he's Thor's brother. In the yes. mythology, he's Odin's brother. So okay. in our in our in our path, in my spiritual path, he's Odin's blood brother and drinking mm-hmm. buddy, right? Okay. So Odin. They neither him nor Odin can drink without each other. But to play a joke on Odin, because Odin wanted this magical steed named Sleepnir, Loki shapeshifted himself into a female horse and got piped out in the middle of the woods and gave birth to Odin's uh, horse. To get them out of a business horse. deal. To get With them the out giant of a business in his deal. Horse, yeah. But uh, you got to understand. Speak like time. We're not going to speak <laughs> past this. We are not about to speed past. <laughs> Loki. Yeah, no, no, he got kicked down by a horse. Transgender interspecies. What I am, I Lord. Um, hmm? see, my girlfriend Is got he... me this little statue of Loki. It's got Fenrir, but there's there's a little Slipner down there with all of his little legs. The 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 villain was too stunned to speak. Loki's yeah, out here giving up. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Loki's out here everything. giving up horse ass. To have to, to 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 give birth to a horse that his drinking buddy likes. Yep. Don't listen. Y'all can't be telling people this. Don't. I, <laughs> our, radio, our radio show is small. We we have a, a, a pretty decent sized people that listen across the world. Well, there's kind but of a Norse talk get out. inside joke get out. about. The, the, well, there's an inside joke about horse sex on Norse Talk, basically. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yo! <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I yeah, there's yeah. yeah, there's skits and everything. I'll I send am, you one sometime. I am yep. blown away. You're, like, you're part yeah. of it now, Thomas. Listen, do y'all understand? <laughs> that's why the alt-right, that's why the alt-right say that Loki's not a god. Yeah, he's a character in a story. That's he's a god of giving up that. He's a god of giving up that booty to a damn other horse is what he is. Like, come Dude, on, he gave like, birth. His he had two children wives. with his wife. His children with his wife are the bringers of the destruction of the universe. He had two wives. Is it one guy of his kids a dog? I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. If anybody on, if, hold on, if anybody on TikTok follows me and like when we're in a live or anything else like that, and my name pops up as Angry Bozo Fenrir, I'm literally that is in, that is Loki's wife and one of his children. Fenrir is the giant wolf that swallows Odin. Okay, that that, like, that bite and that bites off Tyr's hand. And you also yep. know that. Did you notice, Thomas, that all of the days of the week except Saturday are named after Norse gods, right? Yes, yes, yes. I did. Um, I got a friend. I got a friend of mine, um, uh, Ray Franklin. He's my he's my old first sergeant. He made sergeant major. He retired. He's he's the guy that uh, got me really really interested in going to um, comic book conventions and stuff like that. Great guy. His favorite character is Thor, and mm-hmm. I meant to get him a Thor statue when he retired, but I. I, I probably still end up getting it to him because I know where he is. But he was the one that was like every day of the week except Saturday is based on a on a, a Norse god or a day. It's like a you know, so his favorite day is Thursday because it's Thor's day. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm I Loki out here giving up horse ass. Yo, I yeah, and he got dipped down by, by a male this. horse. I was Let me blow your mind. That's what we that's what we know about. Right, what exactly. don't we know about the god? That's all I gotta say. So wait a minute, but we gotta Loki, remember Loki out here just giving it up, just like uh I can well, sit in there, whatever you want. Loki got sword across. Loki's right? one of the only members of the Azir that the, the, the only mention of his hall, of his house, uh-huh, is is a hidden one on one of the mountains in Midgard. So Midgard is Earth. So wow. Loki basically got a trap in the hood somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so Thomas, you got to realize something. A lot of things when we look at this stuff, 
we're looking at it from a modern day lens right. or a yes. or an American lens or Absolutely. a political American lens. Every layer of lens there. we put on changes all of it. And yes. the the you gotta you gotta look when you read the Havamal, which is one of the main texts, uh, the Wisdom of Odin. You can read it one way when you're and and correct me if I'm wrong here, guys. Uh, you can read it when you're uh, calm and collected and perceive it one way and and come back a month later when maybe you're frustrated at work or something and you'll read it a completely different way and walk away with two different things uh you could walk away with more it also <laughs> depends on what translation you read so that is you, true too the it's difference like ton, between so here's the thing and like I, I always bring this up to people too the old norse didn't change uh -huh. the english it's translated to high so the difference between um, the difference between Thorpe and um, Bellows is a sixty-year period. Okay. Now think about like the slang sixty years ago to the slang today. Mm. Yeah. So well, not only that, like you went from like, oh, he's a square to like, oh, get Liddy. You yeah. Know what I mean, so like the English has changed that has been translated to. So, so wait a minute. I, I didn't mean to cut you off, Sash, but I got to ask this. I've got to ask this before it goes out of my head. With everything that you guys have told me about Norse mythology, Loki out here just giving up horse ass. I will never, that will yep. never. What? I, I, I have to. Why You'll would never the look Nazi, at Tom the same again. I will never. I won't be able to look. Listen, I read. What if I, I, listen, what if I, I told read, you it was to solve a problem? I, yeah. That what's the <laughs> problem? Listen, I like okay. horses just as much as the next thing. My mother likes horse liked horses before she died, but why would why would Hitler and, okay. Hitler and the Hold Nazis want to so, want to bend? Why would they want people to follow that, knowing that you know that's the parts that they? It's like, just like the Bible, just, dude. But it's just like the Bible. The things that people want to use and weaponize, they use the other ones they find a way to make an excuse for it. That would be wild. That would I I I I would lose my damn mind if somebody told me that that Jesus had a boyfriend. Like I would I would go. God oh. works in mysterious ways. Odin you works in mysterious ways. Are you not saying Loki works in mysterious ways? Loki teaches. Loki does. Hey man, Loki, Loki, Loki does work in mysterious fun, ways. Bro. Like brother man, he, he like uh oh, you want a snake? Okay, well, here's the thing about him. Oh, oh, Loki about definitely works in mysterious ways. All right, guys, guys, let's let Savage tell the story because it's okay, better. Okay, I got it. Yes, I got it. Here's, here's the thing about it. Loki just who was who he was. Like he had, you know, zero Fs to give, and he just did. He did what made what he did. What was, you know, what, what, he was an opportunist. Whatever the next opportunity came about, also uh -huh. he just like causing chaos. Yep, and it was get like a horse to get nailed by another horse so that you can give birth to your friends, uh, your 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 brothers and drinking buddies' uh, uh, favorite horse that would cause chaos. I mean, yeah. and that's and, you know, and that's just who he was. Like, but a lot of these stories, like you know, a lot of the way that the alt right will use it, like it just gets it's being used to weaponize. You know what yes. I mean? Like when they talk about like Odin sacrificed himself to himself, like. There was so much honor to it because in order to gain the knowledge of the universe and to get, drink from the meat of poetry and to gain the runes, he had, you know, he, he, he did what we call a blow. He did a sacrifice. But instead of sacrificing him, uh, one of his men, he sacrificed himself and hung himself on the tree for, for nine days. Mm. So there's like this honor behind it, but that'll get weaponized. But, yo, his best friend took one up, you know, took one from a horse to give birth to his steed, which is the one he rides in the battle. They're going to omit that part of it. Of course, because you, I mean, it, it looks really cool to, to you know, wear the, wear Mjolnir. It's, it, it's cool to, we have the Viking braids. Hey, hey, one of you gods turned himself into a horse to get nailed by another horse. Hey, we don't talk about that. Like, right. pretty much. You know, it, it, I but, can, and, and I get that. It just seems, it seems, it, it seems odd. Um, We have... <laughs> We have entered the end of yet another incredible episode of this show. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, if you can't see me in the group chat, you can hear my voice. I am shocked. <laughs> I, am, 
I am walking around. That that Loki thing will stay with me probably for the rest of the week. Every I, I don't want to <laughs> watch the show. I can't do it. I, Tom Hiddleston got hittled off by another. But anyway, and what we like to do when we as we end the show is give final thoughts. And we're going to start with our guests this evening, starting off with Roman Momoa, or oh, I'm sorry, uh, Jason Reigns. I'm at Dave the Viking. Dave, uh, final thoughts. You beautiful mofo, you. Come on, Aquaman, <laughs> give it to us. Come on, Aquaman. I mean, I'm final thoughts is just like we gotta, we just gotta keep pushing what we're pushing, honestly. Like until like a better idea comes to unify people more. It's just a little by little education, I guess. But at the same time, like I'm all for the attack mode. I I like being an asshole sometimes, not to be whatever. But you know, like. I appreciated the group tonight. There was a lot I learned as far as like everybody's perspectives on certain things, which is probably a little more calm down than mine is typically. I, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm kind of a dick. Hey man, I, I, I'm so glad that you showed up because you really do bring spicy when you show up, dude. You're, you're, I you're, 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 you're Jason Reigns and everything. I just, every time you call, <laughs> acknowledge it's just, me. It, 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 it's just acknowledge me while I put on this Aquaman suit. Just for real. I, all the whole way around, dude. I'm serious, Dave. You, you, I, I want to be like you when I grow up. All right, Mr. Savage. <laughs> I haven't grown up yet. Thank you for being here. This is the first time you've been on this show. You are now family on this show. So, <laughs> Savage, final thoughts, please. Uh, I mean, don't like yeah, how do I say this? Um, you know, the Norse pad, if uh if you if you feel interested or drawn or called by the old gods the way that I was and the way that this, you know, the way that this way of life has changed my life for the better, like by all means, I don't care who you are, I don't care what your sexual identity is, I don't care what your gender is, I don't care what your color is, creed, nationality. All I care is by your actions and, you know, and the the way if you today try to be less of a piece of crap today than you were yesterday, like, by all means, you know, the, the, this path is for you. And um, if, you know, that's the way you feel. And I feel all are welcome. And I will always fight for that. And I do that through a snarky, educated way. All right. I mean, I Oh. perfect that is perfect that that's a that's a that's the way how you invite people in uh tiger bomb mr uh swole meat for no reason whatsoever final yeah. thoughts brother swole meat for charity my man um <laughs> swole meat for charity <laughs> make it dance um <laughs> so let's go man he's not i had a i had I was going to be poignant, damn it. Um, <laughs> so, you know, in Norse paganism, a lot of people say that Odin is, is the all-father. Um, I'm kind of a living uh, allegory to that. My Scandinavian grandmother divorced my um, uh, grandfather but married a Jewish man, and he adopted me into his family. Um, it's really that simple. Um, uh, and if you take problem with that, and I take problem with you. But that goes to show that uh, that can translate to how I treat the many kindred uh, uh, or tribes or um, groupings of other Norse pagans. I, I might walk alone, but I have many allies. Um, and uh, I feel more drawn to uh, bring frith and use the hammer to build bridges, but I'm also not afraid to roast a fucker. <laughs> and in closing thank you to the guild as usual hey man that's what we do bro all right general gambit aka nate final thoughts bro well you know usually i have something uh either long-winded or perfectly or sometimes i don't say anything at all but all i'm gonna say is thomas you're never going to watch uh infinity war the same are you and I, I, I'm telling you right now, I love the show Loki. I was thinking about rewatching it this this coming week. <laughs> no, nope. if I if I do it, the, hor maybe. the horse, the, 
the maybe jokes start, are forever. I'm telling maybe you, right start, now, the horse jokes are forever, man. I can't just wait till Marvel makes movies. that joke. <laughs> oh. Why am I drawing blank on horse movies? Oh, um, Black Beauty, uh, <laughs> Secretariat. Uh, uh, what's that man, one? You're uh, just you're just ruining brain. them all for yourself. I because I can't help it now. I have Loki <laughs> as a horse in my head, dude. Whoa, I can't do this now. Like, oh, wait till you wait, uh, wait till you get Ed. the uh, <laughs> Mr. Ed the is a show that uh, about a horse, like, the, of course, of course, a horse, a horse. A horse. <laughs> Listen, the, the old lady that swallowed a fly, I know now how that thing ends, and it's she swallowed Loki, like, yo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this hey, will never that, happen, man. Hold on, you know that sound that they those trumpets that they play at uh, the horse races, yes. What are you gonna think about now? I <laughs> Loki, get you will never hear my name. I, I never, never will. Okay, it hit her. It hits low key. It, oh, oh, Joker! Final. There was a firework in the background for that, that one. Sorry. sorry, it sounds like uh, NTC out there. Oh my God. Where's the horse face drummer at when you need him? Oh my goodness, Joker! Final thought. <laughs> Uh, oh, this is this has it. been no 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 we didn't lose me um y'all lost me when you went on your little rant that you just went on but uh because god that was funny i couldn't stop laughing um <laughs> thanks i needed that because my mental health like i stress mental health the final uh, my final thoughts for the entire year about mental health and will continue to always be about mental health until we start fixing the problem of mental health um I go through it as many others go through a whole bunch of severity, different diagnosis and different things. Um, I'm continuing to deal with, you know, a low uh, self-esteem and, you know, complex post-traumatic stress disorder because I don't like the way that I look right now. Um, we've talked about, you know, fundraisers and stuff like that. And, you know, I feel like uh, shitty when I ask somebody to help me or, you know, I'm not somebody who likes to have you know, I have pride and I don't like it, but I don't like to ask people for help. And when I do, I feel crappy about it. Um, I don't like not having peace. It sucks. It makes me feel really bad about myself. And my mental health is always has been on a steady decline and I don't want it to continue to be on a steady decline. But with the way that the billionaires who imploded in a submarine could afford to pay $250,000 just to sit in an imploded submarine, I can't afford $1,200 to put teeth in my mouth. So for anybody's retrospect to how mental health, you know, money, if you're rich, it doesn't make you happy. People are struggling daily and it affects people mentally. Kill privatized insurances, make everything available for everybody. Um, and as always, go to villainsguildstore.com, get your Villains Guild merch. Um, I'm tired of watching the minority being killed by police on a frequent basis. A cab. Right. Thanks everybody for being here. Yes, gentlemen, this has been one of the more lively shows we've had, literally, and I am blown away by your uh, your knowledge and your fight against white supremacy. So, thank you very much. Um, my final thoughts going to be really short, sweet, to the point. Um. Racism ain't going away, ladies and gentlemen. Still going to be here. We tried to get rid of it. I know there's a whole lot of people that believe that Martin Luther King marched up a hill and said a few words and all of a sudden racism disappeared, but it hasn't happened that way. Racism is still here. It's not going anywhere. And unfortunately, we have way too many people who are using different things to express their inner beliefs about race. One of which is religion. Another one is uh, economy, things of that nature. It's not going away. So how do we fight it? Well, first and foremost, you got to be honest about it. Stop trying to pretend like it's going to go away if we don't talk about it. Thank you, Morgan Freeman, for probably the stupidest thing that any Black person has said about race ever. Nothing goes away with, with, with not talking about it. Nothing. If you have cancer, it's not going to magically disappear because you don't talk about it. The other thing you have to do is confront it, not just outwardly outside of your home, but you have to confront it in your family. So if you know you have a racist uncle, I don't care if he taught you how to fish. 
I do not care that he's your favorite uncle, the one that lets you play behind the wheel of his 66th uh, Thunderbird. If, if he has this weird thing about talking about Jewish people or black folks or gay people, you need to confront him straight up. You need to tell him, hey, Unc, I love the 66 Thunderbird, but if you say one more thing about black folks in front of me, I'm going to smack the shit out of you. All right. Thirdly, and more importantly, meet people that don't look like you. I understand my, my reputation on TikTok happens to be very controversial and confrontational. I'm a nice person if you get to know me. I love comic books. I love plus size women. I love butter chicken uh, from Indian restaurants. Uh, I am a huge Superman fan. And if you get to know me, I'm, I'm a little bit of an introvert. You know, I'm a nice person. Get to a know hugger? But I, I do hug. I hug. Um, get to know people that do not look like you. It is very, very simple to do. You have a mentality that you were raised with. Go outside and meet people that challenge that. If your dad said the gay people are fruity and this, that, and the third, go meet a gay person. I know, I happen to know a gay guy right now who's six foot five, 285 pounds. He has some, one of the biggest sets of arms I've ever seen in my life. His boyfriend, who he has been with for eight years, is a very petite, 5'10", 5'9", 5'10", 185 pound man. They have the most loving relationship I've ever seen ever. And you say something about his boyfriend and he will beat the shit out of you. I'm not making that up. I've heard him say it. If you have this misconception about black people, hoods, black on black crime, Chicago, this, that, and the third, go talk to one of us. I promise you we can, we, we will, I will assuage you of that thinking in five minutes. Okay. Racism is not going away. And therefore, the only way for us, you can't conquer it. You can't. Racism is as old as time. Okay. The first time somebody looked at somebody else and said, I'm better than you because this skin, this, that, and the third, we realize that this is a problem that's going to be here with us forever. So rather than us trying to conquer it, which we know we're not going to be able to do, the best thing for you to do is expand your life. Expand it. There are gentlemen on this panel right now who practice a religion. I do not. I am an atheist and I've been an atheist since 2013. I believe in no gods whatsoever, but I don't judge these gentlemen at all. In fact, they're my brothers, period. Why? Because at the end of the damn day, if one of you are bleeding to death, and they say, hey, we need somebody with O positive blood. I have O positive blood. Here you go. That's how humanity operates. We are not rugged individuals. We are not destined to live in this world alone with a six shooter going off against the Mongol horde. We are humans. Humans interact with people. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but we do interact. We are all on this big blue ball by ourselves. Um, unless the aliens show up and eat two thirds of this planet, in which case I will not be disappointed. <laughs> we are who we are. I am not trying to change white people. I'm not. I am simply trying to get people to love, to understand, to accept, not tolerate, accept. So racism is not going away. So what do we do with it? We confront it. And by confronting it, we are confronting the beast that is inside of ourselves. And as long as we're fighting that beast, maybe we'll be okay. Or maybe the aliens will show up and eat this damn place and get it over with. Um, I'm rooting for the aliens. Don't think I'm not. Uh, humanity sometimes gets on my damn nerves. With that being said, we have come to the end of yet another thrilling episode of The Villain's View on Hot101.net, streaming exclusively on Ghost Claw Productions. Oh, I'm sorry, entertainment. My name is Thomas Bishop. I am known as The Villain. Thank you, gentlemen, very much for being here. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for being in the group chat. Love you guys. And oh. as always, we will see you all in seven whole days. Ladies and gentlemen, the villain is out. <laughs>